The people of Cork woke up this morning to the headlines of yesterday's budget, which included stiff increases for the motorist. And it might be interesting to know the reaction of Fords of Cork, who employ here 1,100 people with a turnover of £132 million last year. Amongst other things in the budget, excise duty will mean about £130 on the price of a new small car. It's not the biggest price increase that we have had over the years. Overall, it will have no effect on the car market. The petrol price increase could mean that there would be a slight swing down from the high horsepower car to the lower horsepower. Well, another big employer here in Cork produces drink. The whole drinks industry in Cork employs about 2,000 people with a turnover of many millions of pounds. And as we know from yesterday's budget, there's 6p on this, 3p on this, and 16p on a double of this. Although one of the men who makes this told me he was glad that this had gone up more because more people might buy this. However, one of the things you might not know so much about is that this soft drinks, also produced here in Cork, has gone up 5p. They've placed a 300% increase in duty on soft drinks. We're the only country in Europe that has such a duty, incidentally. And now we have a situation in which the crude instrument that they've applied will have an effect on the family-sized bottle, the bottle that mothers bring home that their children drink from. And the burden is going to fall very heavily in that area. Patelios, who cater for the foreign visitors, say that drink prices were already something of a surprise for visitors who have, mistakenly perhaps, assumed that the country's image for gregarious and friendly drinking also meant friendly prices. The new increases, the hoteliers feel, will make holidays here that much more difficult to sell. Elsewhere in the city today, trade was pretty much as before, though some publicans did report that stoking up in spirit sales before prices actually do increase, which they expect to be early next week. And in one city bar, there was a ritual taking of early morning coffee as an antidote to last night's tasting of the last of the reasonably priced whiskies. I feel that it would be unfair to put more tax on the petrol. At least and people uh, have a choice. There are non-essentials. As I say, in this day and age, having, having a bath, regarded as a luxury, in a galvanised tank for your attic, it's a bit crazy. Probably not great harm on cigarettes or drink. But Some um, of the most surprised and amusing reaction came to the Minister's proposal to spend an extra £100,000 on promoting hurling. And 5% in golf balls. I wasn't aware of it. Yeah. What well, do you think of the, of the, of the increase? In well, why promote hurling when we can't promote golf? You know, I'm too old to play hurling. I, I, I think it's just a there was some sympathy for farmers who are going to have to pay a good deal of extra taxation, but even here in Galway, in the heart of farming country, it was generally agreed that they should pay more tax. I think farmers have you know, they've got away with it for long enough. Even though they're independent, they have a hard life. I believe that it isn't really the farmer that should be taxed, it's the self employer. But taxpayers in the towns and cities have been demanding very strongly that farmers be taxed more heavily. Have they?